a much different feeling for Lions fans after last week's tie in Arizona, a victory to kick off the home slate here at Ford Field over the Chargers 13 to 10. Let's take a look at how it all went down. Teams traded punts to start the game, but the Chargers moved it down the field. Austin Eckler diving over the pile from the one yard line gave them a seven nothing lead early on. But the Lions, they came right back. Very next possession, they went 75 yards capped off by a spectacular carry on Johnson catch and run. But Matt Prater would miss the extra point. 10-6 Los Angeles at halftime. Matthew Stafford was picked off in the Lions' first possession of the second half. But the defense, it bailed him out. Eckler tried that same jump. No. Jelani Tavai forces the fumble. Lions, they catch a break. Chargers missed a field goal. But after that, Stafford tried to force a play down the field. Ended up in the same result as this first deep throw. Intercepted. The Chargers missed another field goal leaving the window open after a fourth down conversion. The Lions, they went for the jugular right down the middle. Stafford to Kenny Galladay for the go-ahead touchdown. Lions go up 13 to 10. Chargers, though, they had one more chance, and they did make it down the field. However, Phillip Rivers looking for his favorite target of the day. Keenan Allen, not this time. Big play Slay. Darius Slay lives up to his name, picks off Rivers in the end zone. Lions hold on to win it by that same score. They're now 1-0-1 on the season and they are breathing a sigh of relief tonight. We needed it. Um, I was just happy enough, you know, my number was called pretty much so I could go out there and make a play. Um, offensively, you know, we, we, we were doing good, but we, you know, still just hurting ourselves a little bit. Uh, but it felt good for sure. You know, some great players in this game that, that maybe had some, some rough moments. Uh, but, you know, I think a slave coming back and making the pick to seal it. You know, Kenny making a great catch to win the game for us on offense, uh, you know, Prater nailing the extra point late, whatever it is, those guys are really good NFL football players and, and showed it uh, throughout the game. Now Slay coming up with that game ceiling interception was so clutch because he'd been getting picked on by Keenan Allen all game long. Allen had eight catches for 98 yards. He even drew three penalties on Slay, but when it mattered most, Slay was the one living up to the billing. His maturity as a lockdown corner showed. He didn't get rattled or down on himself after a rough start to his day. That's what me being a veteran, learn, you know, seven years in, man, um, you know, PIs and all that stuff don't, don't distract me. You know, I'm going to play ball. I go to the next play and keep playing. And, um, and that's what makes me more of a leader in my group. You know, I'm older veteran. Uh, you know, penalties don't phase me. I just go out there and play ball and try to do the best I can for this team. Now Michigan State drops out of the AP Top 25 after their disappointing home loss to Arizona State yesterday. Michigan was on a bye week. They slipped to 11th from 10th. Both teams have a tough test on the road. Next weekend, Michigan State travels to Northwestern, whereas Michigan, they're going out to Camp Randall Stadium in Madison to take on Wisconsin. Two big tests for the home or the Big Ten openers, I should say, for both of those teams. But a victorious Lions team today. That'll be the story that carries into the beginning part of your work week. 13 to 10. The final from here will have plenty more reaction coming up tonight at 10. And of course, on the C on the 7 Sports Cave tonight at 11:30, right here on Channel 7. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Justin Rose live at Ford Field with a Lions victory.